Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Goblins, and we last we left off our intrepid heroes Dwayne, Bobo, and Hooter are deep within the bowels of the earth, seeking ingredients that the wizard that sent them down here can hopefully use to aid the king and end his insanity. That said, these goblins really didn't ask many questions as to what the ingredients were specifically going to do, maybe they're a bit too trusting, but it's the only hope that they have for the king. So here they are. There is a puzzle to be solved here, and I can see four things that we can use. Firstly, this over here that I'm definitely going to avoid using because there's going to be some horrible undead monster in there, I'm sure. Secondly, there is this, called Earl. It's probably not called Earl in the game, but I'm calling it Earl. It's a tiny monster, or it's a very big monster with most of it hidden in the ground. Either way, I'm going to try my best not to interact with Earl. Earl seems fine where he is. Thirdly, we have a hunchback. We're going to ignore the hunchback as best we can, because I imagine the hunchback isn't very friendly. And finally, there is this over here. It definitely sticks out compared to everything else because it's the only thing like that on the entire screen. And when we have something that we want to change the properties of, we rely on Hooter. Off you go, and please don't agitate Earl. Please? Marvellous, if we don't uh, talk to Earl, Earl won't bother us, which is good because we don't want to lose any more health than we already have. And so, we'll use some magic! That definitely worked! It's made it much bigger. And so, we're going to send Bobo up this, because Bobo is the only one that can climb that. We're using all of the goblins, and using their best skills to help us out. Dwayne, just stay there if you will. Eventually, I'm sure we'll need you. Then again, we may not need you. So now that we're up here, there's only one thing we can really do, and that's punch something, because let's face it, only Bobo can punch things, and it's all Bobo can do. So punch the statue, I guess. Now we know that the statue has a tongue. I have many questions about uh, what the architect of the statue was thinking, but we have a tongue here. Let's go down and see what this tongue does. Maybe Dwayne can do something uh, with the tongue, like reach in and go grab an item. There's only one way to find out, and that is to uh, do some experimentation. First, what happens if you punch again? It goes up. If it goes up... Oh, I think I see what the game wants me to do. The hunchback here is either blocking our progress or has the item that we need. And there's something here that we can do something with, probably unleashing a horrible monster. There is a very long and winding path, giving us time to get our goblins out of the way. And so, it is up to Hooter to unleash whatever monster is in here, and hopefully drive away the hunchback that or scare the hunchback. Either way, we'll be able to get past. And we're going to have to use our magic to make this happen. Alakazam! Ow. Well, there's some health gone. I know you're angry, but clearly that wasn't what we were meant to do. What about this? That's better. Let's get out of here. Let's uh, move away and see what happens. Hopefully whatever's in there is friendly. Oh, that does not look friendly. That thing looks horrifying. I'm going to call you Earl Jr. And we're going to very quickly move away from you. I don't want you to catch up with us. Then again, your arms are really long. I imagine you could reach us even if we were up here. But maybe you can't see us. These two goblins are safe. Bobo is also safe. So now we just have to wait. This creature is moving very slowly, but hopefully the creature will do what I'm hoping will happen. And that is that you'll get scared, and then you'll chase after the uh, hunchback or go away. Either is good. If you just stand there, we have another problem. Don't attack my goblins. You did not. Marvellous. 
now we wait. <laughs> Seems like all you wanted to do was scare that uh, person there. That's fine, because I see a mushroom that we need to get, and I also see here that we need to get that mushroom. There is a bar here that we probably have to fill for the uh, three ingredients and for saving the king. At least I think that's what that's for. So we're going to have this go down. Hopefully, yep, you're not going to turn around, which is good. You're content with scaring just one person. And so off you go, back to your coffin, to rest. Also, I'm sorry, Earl, but we're not going to interact with you at all. We want to make sure we have all the health that we can. Let's go grab this mushroom. And that was a loud beeping noise for saying, hey, you got one of the ingredients. Off we go to the next level. Password get. That was even more beeping, but we are here in a place full of spiders. We were told to get a potion that had a very spider-like name, so this is where we'll likely get it. Also, I really like the effect here of the light cascading into the cave. That's a very nice touch. We can't go back, we can only go forward, and I see two items that we may use. There is a potion and a gun. Probably be using the gun quite a bit, but there is a spider here that we want to get to go away, and there are two ways we could do it. One of them involves punching a spider, and that is a really poor idea, so Bobo, just go over there and do nothing, because we're going to use magic instead. Let's use some magic. That did not do what I thought it would do. Hmm. Then again, we can't get up here right now because that spider is asleep up there, but there is this um, spider thread here, and I bet you can climb it. Let's see if you can. And I imagine if I hadn't have zapped the uh, spider, we'd have been in some bother there. Okay, try and use this and see what happens. You're gonna have to uh, punch it, or just use it, rather. Or will you try and punch some spider thread? Okay, we've moved the spider. That's good! What does this one do? Gets Bobo attacked by a spider. That's not good. I know, we've done something wrong, but we do now have access to the two items here. The gun, and the potion, and there's a spider over there blocking the way. Let's get the gun. I feel like we might need that. We have a pistol! Dwayne is armed and dangerous! And now, we can get rid of this spider, maybe? We're not going to be doing anything with this spider. But this one, we want to get rid of this one so that we can get up there and see what the spider is resting on. There's something there. So, pistol? Use? Okay, we can't use the pistol there. The ladder? <coughs> that worked. You didn't actually shoot the um, spider, you just agitated the spider, but... There is something here. A pillow. The spider just wanted a little bit of comfort and luxury. And now we have that pillow, and we'll never return it. Now, the pillow could be used in one of two ways. We could either use the pillow on this spider, which, let's face it, I don't think is going to work, or on this spider here. Hmm. The pillow probably can't be used directly. No, no, it can't. So let's just put the uh, let's just put the pillow underneath the spider, so that if we get the spider to go back down, it'll be able to rest nice and comfortably. Good plan. Now we have two options with the spider. One of them is punching the spider, and that's a poor plan. Still, never punch spiders, especially giant ones. It will never end well for you. Let's use some more magic, shall we? Alakazam! 
Oh, looks like you were carrying a potion. One that we most likely need. I see what they've done here. This potion looks a lot like the one that, um, you think that we need because of the picture here. But this one has a picture of a spider on it, so this clearly is the potion that we need for the elixir. Let's grab it. We get some beeps, which tells us that we've done well. And we've got a pillow. We do not want that pillow, but we'll put the pillow back where we uh, got it, because we're going to grab that pistol. We're not going to be using a pillow on that uh, spider there, that's for sure. Let's scare away this spider, if that is we can. We might not be able to. We are running out of health, though. We are just a little bit over half health, and I don't like that. I'm not going to try and punch this spider. I'm definitely not going to try and use magic. It's way too big. Maybe you'll be afraid of the sound of a pistol? <coughs> Aha! You were! Which means we can leave. We got a password. On we go! We got even more beeping, and that beeping was almost rhythmic in nature. We don't have the pistol anymore. Dwayne is no longer armed and dangerous, and I can see what we need to do here already. There is a small patch of, uh, tilled land and a scarecrow. And that's probably got some seeds in it. We're gonna have to grow the plant that, um, we're going to need for that elixir. We can't go back, by the way, but we are now out of the uh, bowels of the earth, which is very nice. Okay, let's see about getting that. Also, I do not trust that. I don't trust that at all. Why? Because this seems to be a different coloration than the rest of the tree. Which tells me that it's going to be able to be interacted with, which says that it will fall. This game is mean enough that that will happen, so I'm not going to get Dwayne to grab it. And punching a bag of uh, seeds, which I imagine that's what that is, isn't going to help. But magic? Magic will always help. Hooter, show us what you can do. Moving the bag, confirming that that was indeed a very weak branch. Look at it now! If you can't see the difference in coloration, uh, or you couldn't before, look at it now. That is very different. We'll get these. Are you the only one with pockets deep enough to carry things? Is that why you can carry things? But those are indeed seeds. And also, this tree. This tree is, uh, made up of loads of little trees that have all coiled together. That's a really nice, uh, image. Looks really neat. Okay, let's just, uh, plant some seeds. Okay, we'll just have to wait for them to grow. Give it a- oh, hello. You're just gonna eat all the seeds, aren't you? Yes, yes you are. Clearly that scarecrow isn't doing enough to actually scare people. Maybe we can get it to scare these, um, these birds away. Yes, that will scare away the birds, okay. But, even if we can scare away the birds, which will, uh, do so whenever the birds appear, get ready. Ah! And away they go! We still have to wait a very long time, and by a very long time I mean... How long does this plant take to grow? A couple of months? A couple of weeks? A day? Two days? Those birds, yep, they're gonna keep coming back until we figure out a way to speed up the process, and I think I know what the game's hinting at. There is a branch over here. We can probably get it to rain. Because you may think that the background is just there for decoration. No, not in this kind of game. Not in a goblin's game. I bet we can do something with those clouds, and the only one that can is Hooter. Give it a go! We have rain! 
and we have a plant that matches the appearance of the plant there. We're getting awfully close to getting all the things we need for that elixir. All we need to do is get this plant. Let's grab it. Marvelous! And there is the wizard. Let's go and hand over all those things. Also, you can walk on that. There you go. That's a sinister look you have there now. Uh oh. Ah, many thanks, little gnomes. No spell stopped me from gathering these treasures myself. Ah, <laughs> all in all, you've been extremely helpful to me. So, I've decided to keep you. Hmm, off to the dungeon now. Oh dear! Well, what a surprise! The wizard is evil. And now we have to figure out a way to escape the dungeon. This dungeon is a grim place. Grim indeed. We have things that we can do, though. We have this cup, we have a skeleton, a button, and we have this serpent. Let's see what we can do. I imagine that is the way out. Oh, that is the way out, more accurately. That is a broken ladder that's not going to help us at all. And they all seem quite happy and not panicking about the fact that they are trapped here potentially forever. Let's see what we can do to escape. Well, the first thing that we can do is we could probably grab this cup. But I get the feeling that this cup is not going to help us that much. I mean, you could magic it, but that's not going to help us. We can't get through that, and I imagine the uh, snake is going to stop us from going through here. Punching a skeleton probably won't help. I'm going to presume that that skeleton is somehow alive. So, it's time to use some magic. Magic seems to be the thing that we're using a lot to start puzzles. Let's try magicking the skeleton. It moves, and just throws a bone at us. Thanks for making me move, here's a bone. A bone isn't gonna help us though. What about if we magic the bone? Ah, that's gonna help us though, that is a flute. And I know what we're gonna use a flute for. We are going to use the flute on the serpent. If we can get to you. There we go. And we'll use the flute. Right now. That didn't do very much. Maybe I need to click a little more over here. No, here maybe? There we go! I had to be very particular with the placement of uh, my clicking, which means that you can now get up here. No, 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 don't go that way. That way is just going to end up with you falling, I imagine. This way, however, will get you up. You're now up, which is brilliant. On the other hand, you being up here really isn't going to help that much because, uh... Ooh, hang on. That looks very, very conspicuous. Compared to the rest of this platform, that looks like it's going to be used. And when we come back, folks, hopefully we will figure out the solution to this puzzle and escape from the dungeon. I hope so. Otherwise, it's the end of the game and the king is doomed. Also, we have lost everything. That is not good. Hopefully we'll get it all back. I imagine that potion was in fact not going to be used to help the king. Probably going to help the wizard take over the world. Also, that is a massive skull. I don't want to meet the creature that had a skull that big. 
And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.